This is Cadenceville on Route 40. He certainly didn't feel much of the effects of Tropical Storm Erica here in Maryland. It was devastating, though, for the Commonwealth of Dominica. I'm sure many of you have seen the images and the video, and we are trying to do what we can to help today. LaDonna Rico is here from Rebuild Dominica to help talk about Carifesta, which is a big event that's coming up, and what those of us here can do to help. You know, so many people, and, and I was talking with um, Shardell Moore, our traffic reporter. Yes. Her family's from there originally. You I'm know from her, Dominica of course. As well. You're from, from there the as same well. village, actually. And she was saying, you know, she has her family's accounted for, but there is so much widespread devastation there. It's a very small country that mm -hmm. many of us had never heard of prior right. to Erica kind of exactly. putting it on the map. And it's so sad that that's what did it. It is. Um, so basically, just to let you guys know what's going on, of course, Tropical Storm Erica hit on August 27th. Um, I actually got a WhatsApp because we use that app a lot to communicate, uh -huh. you know, for free. Yeah. Um, my brother sent me something and it was just like the river flooding mm -hmm. in Bath Estate, which is one of the villages. And he sent me the image and the river is just rising and rising. So I'm like, okay, I've actually been home during a tropical storm. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking hopefully the river doesn't flood. That's the worry. But this time around, mm -hmm. it happened. And from my understanding, I was born um, in 1979, right after Hurricane David. Mm -hmm. And we're comparing that to this. Wow. I mean, it's really put my country back a lot. And that's why Rebuild Dominica stepped in. It's a nonprofit based in D.C., we're partnering with um, Carifesta, mm -hmm. and it's really great because Carifesta, as well as the D.C.'s mayor's office, have basically, you know, advocated and come together for solidarity. Mm -hmm. And we're basically trying to get people to understand what's going on, mm -hmm. to come and bring non-perishable goods or anything you think that we might need. Um, there's school supplies, there's um, diapers, you, you never know, like water is right now hard to come Absolutely. by. The utilities are the first thing to mm -hmm. go when mm -hmm. you have flooding. Um, the water, you know, electricity, cell phone coverage, right. which is why, like you mentioned, Chardell, some, some family members aren't accounted for right. Um, right. because of the fact that there's no telecommunication. Mm -hmm. And it's getting rebuilt, but we have a lot of things to do. We it's have a lot. Time. Yeah, it's going to take some time. What's the best way for folks here who are watching to, to help? As you mentioned, you know, all the non-perishables, all the items that we take for granted. Yes. What's the best way for folks to get involved, to bring stuff, you know, to help out? Is there a website? We'll post a link, of course, yes. to Rebuild Dominica, but mm -hmm. what else can they do? So you can log on to rebuilddominica.org. And we have updates and we have drop-off locations in Maryland. And we also have a new drop-off location that's going to be listed for Baltimore. Okay. Um, we also um, ask you to, you know, go on to Facebook and there's a group called Rebuild Dominica. You can actually join. It's a public group. You can get information right. there. Um, if you have resources, you're welcome to post. Um, we're asking Perfect. that people, you know, just basically spread the word. Yes. Tomorrow from 1 to 8, Carafesta is going to be um, in the Ronald Reagan Plaza, which is close to the White House. Mm -hmm. It's Labor Day weekend. The kids are out of school. Great. We ask that you guys come down and, sure. you know, just bring whatever you can. It, it takes a village. It does. It, it takes a village. Does. LaDonna, thank you so much for being here thank to you talk for having about us. it. Awareness is such a big part of it. Thank and you. as I mentioned, we will post all the information on our website if you'd like to get involved. Just go to foxbaltimore.com slash morning. Thanks again for being here. After the break, Labor Day just a day away, shaping up to be a nice one. We have one more check of the seven-day forecast coming up next.